Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that I thought would be fun to do, especially because we're nearing Valentine's Day and as much as I we don't celebrate Valentine's Day in my family or with me and my husband, but it's an occasion to wear red and pink. So we go with it. It's a bit like at holidays you wear gold and red and green. Uh, Valentine's Day is about reds and pinks. So I thought I would share with you my favorite red lipsticks and um, the ones that survived the declutter because there's a few that maybe are honorable mentions but that I didn't keep and they're really good red lipsticks but these are my favorites and the ones in my collection that I'm gonna keep. Small um, disclaimer is I wear like bright red lips very rarely so I only have let's say really two that are the red lip and the rest is all a little bit darker because that's what I prefer. I find it a little bit more, I would say wearable. Uh, it suits my complexion and my coloring better, um, but like I have a beautiful, or what I think is a beautiful red uh, sweater on and with that it you need a bright red lip. So that is what we're gonna do today. And uh, starting with the two bright red lips, what I'm wearing on my lips right now is my favorite of all. It's number one in my red lipstick um, book and that is the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lipstick in Uncensored. I love this. This is the second one I repurchased. One of them I lost. I bought it when it was launched in... Uh, was, I remember it was... like there's a story to this. It was Thanksgiving night in 2017. I was in the States and this was launching at, I don't know, 10 p.m. or on Thanksgiving night, right before Black Friday um, in Sephora. So we went for dinner with friends for Thanksgiving. Then we drove by the mall, which it was 10.30 p.m. or so, and the mall was open. And I went into Sephora to buy this for a friend. I tried it on and my husband told me, Alice, buy one for yourself as well. Um, or I'll buy one for you, but hey, we have a common bank account, so buy one for yourself as well, <laughs> was the idea. And uh, since then I lost it after uh, a while. I still don't know how that happened and I repurchased it because I just cannot, if I want a red lip, this is the one I want. Formula-wise, it's different from any liquid lipstick that I have and I actually really like the formula. Some people have problems with it migrating a lot. I don't. Um, today I have a lip liner, but often enough I don't. And um, it is an extremely comfortable uh, liquid lipstick. It doesn't dry out your lips. Um, it lasts in terms of color a long time, but I wouldn't wear it under a mask because it will move. It's not completely dried down. I have a full video of my like first time I wore it and uh, maybe I'll link that here but it's like it's old it's, it's like more than three years old um, but if you want to watch it that was my first impressions of this one it was a big release it still is my favorite favorite red lipstick I'm gonna be swatching these on my hands I thought about doing lip swatches but you guys I have what is it eight red lipsticks uh, my face would not survive that so you're gonna see them next to each other here and I'm gonna start with Fenty. Beautiful. I have a little bit of a doubt on the, um, how do you call it, uh, expiry date of this, uh, because a friend of mine had it go bad and smell fishy, and mine doesn't smell inert anymore. Um, but it still works well, and it doesn't really, like only if you go in the, in the applicator, you really can smell it. The second one up is another love of my life that unfortunately you cannot get anymore, but you know, it's Colourpop, so you might. This is the Colourpop and Hello Kitty collaboration in the shade Ribbon. It's an ultra matte lipstick and it is drier than Fenty, but it is also a very comfortable version of their ultra mattes. And you can see it right here. It's a cooler tone red, but still very bright. They're similar, but not that similar. It's cooler and a little bit deeper than Fenty. 
And these are my two go-tos, I think, for um, a red lip. Definitely quite interchangeable for me, but yeah, just looking at the undertones, that's what makes me choose one or over the other. And I just, this is all I need. This is all I want. Um, there have been times in which I was like, oh, I would like to buy, I don't know, the Lisa Aldrich reds or um, I don't know, what is it, MAC. Oh my goodness, what's the red for MAC? <laughs> I can't remember, the red for MAC, red for MAC. And, um, and then I think about it, I'm like, no, if I want red, I want it to set, first of all. Um, if I want this bright red, I want it to set and I want it like this. I, I already have these two and I already don't wear them enough, so. Then we move on to one that is my summer red and I really wear it pretty much only in summer because it's such a statement and a bright, bright red. It's from Mulak Cosmetics and it's called Like a Fox, crazy like a fox actually. It's a bullet lipstick but their bullet lipstick are quite dry and you can see it here. Somehow on my lips it, it is really bright but it has the right depth, it's not white in, uh, there's no white component in it anyway, and it actually really looks amazing on like tan skin. I love using this in um, in summer, but that is pretty much the only time I use it. I would never, I don't know why actually, because the more I look at it, the more I'm like, well, it looks very similar to the other two. <laughs> it's even maybe a little bit deeper and a little bit less saturated than the other two, but I really only use it in summer. Um, it's quite a dry formula, uh, it lasts a very long time, it's not uncomfortable, but it's, um, it's, a very, it's a very matte lipstick. Now moving on to the darker reds, and that's where my heart is, and I have a few more of those. Um, I'm gonna start with the red lipstick I got married in, and this is MAC Fire Roasted. This was actually a suggestion from a friend of mine, Letizia, who I met uh, on a Facebook group, but then like now we we're friends on Instagram. And this is one of their uh, lip density lipsticks. I'm not sure they make them. I, I've seen them a lot on, on sale. So um, if you find it, this is the most beautiful, warm, deep. It's, it's not even that deep. It's a medium red. Um, okay, for many people it will be deep. For me, it's a medium red. Like these are lighter reds. This is a medium red to me. Um, it is a very, very comfortable formula, but it lasts a long time and the, the reason is that it feels like you have a layer of the lipstick that sets and a layer of the lipstick that keeps uh, your lips moist and creamy looking. Um, so even at my wedding, it lasted for a very, very long time, even though it's very, you can see, creamy and shiny compared to the others. It's a gorgeous, warm, red lipstick, but it doesn't go into the brick at all, like this is actual red. Love it, love it, love it. Don't wear it enough, unfortunately, um, but I would never get rid of it. It's my wedding lipstick. It comes with its the, the same lip liner as well. I have it somewhere. Here it is. Same color lip liner as well. Then back to Mulak. This is a, one of their more recent releases, and this is Dark Heart. They released a bunch of, um, I don't know, reds in different tones and uh, this one right here is stunning. Even deeper than the others, it has a more matte finish than the lip density, but it's much softer of a matte than their traditional uh, mattes. Like Crazy Like a Fox is very, very matte and um, uh, Dark Heart is a little bit less matte. Uh, very comfortable to wear, I think one of the best reds that I own in terms of color, comfort, beautiful. I just don't wear that reds a lot, but I have, like, I can't get rid of, like, I love these uh, colors and I love these, these lipsticks. In a similar vein of a red lipstick is my one and only Lisa Eldritch Velvet Jazz and um, I think this is a little jewel. It is very special. It has the velvet treatment on the outside of the bullet. It has the beautiful component with the magnetic closure. It's, it's luxury makeup. However, formula-wise, it doesn't... Um, 
win for me. It has something about like drying my lips. You can see the color is a richer, maybe a little bit more blue toned red, actually definitely more blue toned than uh, Dark Heart and uh, lip the Lip Tensity Fire Roasted. It, it doesn't last as well on my lips as the rest. I'll put it that way. You put it on and it's gorgeous, but uh, it doesn't last as well on my lips as the other ones that I have. Nevertheless, it has a special place in my heart. It's also probably the most blue toned red that I own and I'm fine with that. I don't have blue tones in my skin, so it, blue tone reds don't really suit me very well. Um, but yeah, beautiful that one as well. Then I'll throw in somewhat reds, kind of related. This is Brick from um, Jouet and I get asked a lot where, uh, like what I'm wearing when I wear this. It's actually dried down quite a lot. It's a long wear lip cream and you can see it right here. It's, it's a red and it's a bit of, of a warmer red. Um, it's not as bright. It's, I find it one of the more wearable reds that I own. And you can see from the swatches that the differences are subtle, but they are definitely there. And that's why you can have so many red lipsticks. <laughs> um, and that one is also very nice. It's almost a moussey velvety formula. So it's almost like putting on a mousse on your lips and it doesn't ever set to a film like um, color pop lip lipsticks do or like the traditional liquid lipsticks kind of set down to a um, film. This one never does. It keeps a very, very comfortable matte, but it looks like velvet on your lips. Very good formula, like that one a lot. And the final one is Baudelaire by Nabla Cosmetics. And I've worn this a bit more this, uh, this year and this one is the least red maybe of the band bunch. It leans a little bit more brick uh, than the rest and actually maybe quite close to Dark Heart in terms of color, but a liquid lipstick of a more traditional type. I like these uh, Nabla liquid lipsticks and I think this one looks very, very sophisticated, especially if you do somewhat of a more like mauve nude eye makeup and you put this one on, it brings a lot of interest and it's not a bright red, but it's still in the red family, I would say. The final arrival in my family of red lipsticks is from Clio Makeup and it's the shade Choco Red. As it says, it's a chocolatey red and again, here we're quite far away from the bright red that I'm wearing and it's this last shade right here. I am including it because to me this is this is uh, the most yeah it's it's again in the family of the most wearable reds for me whereas these are really bright and really uh, visible on my colors and this is color theory and color analysis coming in of course for my colors these are less uh, disturbing to the eye you don't see the lipstick first. Uh, when I'm wearing these deeper tones. Whereas these bright reds really, you're like, oh, Alice is wearing a very bright red lipstick. <laughs> and then there's Alice. <laughs> With these ones, they're more harmonious to my coloring. So you, you don't notice them as much actually. So um, this one is new to me and I bought it with Black Friday, I believe. And it's a beautiful, beautiful point of dark red. Do I have enough dark red in my life? One would argue yes, but they're all different. They are totally all different, right? <laughs> so it is. There are a few special mentions, like for example, the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 01 Always Red. It's a classic, it's beautiful. I had to throw my, mine away in the last declutter because it's, I don't know, it was four or five years old. It, it stank, uh, it was just gone. It's a beautiful red, uh, very inexpensive. You can repurchase it infinite times. I think they're 13 or 14 euros and a very, very good formula. So that is a, like a foolproof I would recommend to anybody who likes a, a red liquid lipstick that is like go to easy peasy because this one may be a little bit more high maintenance, maybe a little bit more expensive. I think this is 25 euros. So if you want to go for something close, in my love level, 
that's Sephora Always Red. This one is better because the formula is more of a it's fuller in color. It, it just gives you more 3D. It just better. <laughs> I like that better. But uh, mine, unfortunately, had expired of the Sephora one, so I had to toss it. The other one I uh, decluttered is Russian Red, and uh, that is a, from MAC, a beautiful matte lipstick in a bullet, but not special enough for me to keep when I have all of these. So that is a little bit the, the two bonus ones that I wanted to add in terms of red lipsticks. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe had a few ideas. I would love to hear what your favorite red lipstick is in the description box below. I know everybody has their their, pre their preferred red tone and um, their preferred formula. So I'm really curious to hear what your favorite red lipstick is. Let me know in the comment box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.